Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> so this is quite an interesting one, and I thought I'd read you the comment okay. that recommended it. He went somewhere like this. You need to see the first Filipino child performer who, without a doubt, was born to be an entertainer. Her name is Josephine Banik Roberto. She performed in the Arsenio Hall show after winning the International Star Search in 1989. Wow. And that's what we're going to check out. And You're... here's the video. And he said, you'll, great, you'll be greatly impressed. So I bloody let's, hold you to that. Mate. Let's be impressed. Go ahead. International Star Search, 1989. Yeah, the performance. Right, the next best new international well, that's the late 80s, the year, all right. Represents the Philippines from Manila. Here's 10-year-old Josephine Vanning ten, ten Roberto. Old. Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> if she didn't win, who did? There's just some kids that get it, don't they? There's just some kids that he clicks with them. My God. And then all of a sudden, you, you just sort of guide them a bit at the beginning. Maybe, you know, let's do rehearse this song, blah, blah, mm. blah. And then you give him a mic, then on the day of the night, it could even, you know, all go to crap or it could work. And there's just some kids that get it. Yes, I agree. And I actually think in this particular case, you're seeing somebody so freaking mature. This is a mature old adult performer in a, body. in a little body like even the mannerisms and how she's handling the stage and <clears> working <throat> interacting with the people interacting with the song itself there's like this natural sass yeah. it reminds me a little bit of like tina turner on stage in her early years it's a bit like it's a bit grounded and do, it's a bit dynamic because of that do stay to the end because we're gonna after this check out one of her performances and most recently i think 2020 uh what? with regime velasquez uh you know she's obviously now you know a fully grown woman um but let's let's continue with this but, but it, just, it's just it's just so weird to me how there's some kids that you so it clicks they're just born like that yeah. but well, you know what's really impressive is like for example in this particular case in this particular phrase of the singing journey she understands the belting technique to such extent that she also understands to how much gain Body the microphone time. can can uh, receive in this person in this environment look at this <laughs> That is such a mature choice. It's a like, fudge YouTube algorithm. Uh, even, even, literally, even like grown ups that have been uh, trained and been singing for years wouldn't make those choices. Yeah, I mean, maybe you they know? would, but in the heat of the moment, certainly wouldn't. And which, I think that's what's so impressive about this. And I think that's what. This is a 10 year old child. Yeah, and that's what. I mean, obviously, that's impressive, but I think what's probably more impressive to me is not the age, but it's the age in companionship with the pressure of the moment the lights are on that's the moment where you can't fail yep. um, so that was more impressive to me not the fact that she's 10 and she's singing at this manner it's like she can do that in her room i'm sure can you do when the pressure's on <laughs> completely yeah. correct Different. <laughs> Also, Thank you, Josephine okay, now you can tell that it's from the 80s because that audio is garbage. <laughs> but again, a little, little gem that you guys requested, which I thought was quite fun. But it, there's also something really interesting as well, which happens is uh, 
one of the things that can happen when you're really young is you obviously lack the discipline of understanding of, you know, everything comes at a price in terms of breath economy. Yes. Um, so, you know, we've been noticing it's like uh, the last performance we checked out, kind of like we're going on this role of checking out old performances. Because you guys have taken us there. Yeah. Um, of Katrina Velarde. And the thing you can notice about her is that it's like, you know, she was sort of ex- so exerting so much. Um, was it Katrina? No, it was Cherise. It was Cherise. That's Charisse, it. She, yeah. she's ex- that, it was Cherise, correct. She was exerting so much sort of a performing power mm-hmm. that uh, that does come at a cost of breath economy and, and fatigue. Um, but in her case, which was really interesting is she was performing, but she was yeah. very economic. She was very efficient. Well, I think the song was demanding in other ways. Like uh, the song wasn't like, uh, pff, let's hear your best ballad belt. No, but in I- this particular case, you're seeing a more dynamic performance. Even the song itself, it was a bit more of a dynamic approach. Sure, but she brought out sort of the performance out of it in the mm. sense of you know the like his hand gestures and kind of the choreo bit of it. But it wasn't as much as you would have thought she would have added because she yes. has much more in the tank. Absolutely. Not vocally, perhaps, yes, I don't know, I don't know her. But I mean it more energy, like that little girl has, <laughs> is a little pocket rocket. That's right. A rocket pocket? A pocket rocket. A pocket rocket. So that that's quite a smart choice. I don't know if maybe that was guided or stuff, mm-hmm. but that that's also quite impressive to me. It's fantastic. But well, so fast forward a few years later. A few, a few years. In 2019, actually, uh, when she is uh, performing with Regine Velasquez at Asad Natinto. Okay, that's how Bloody it is. Hell. I believe the children of the future Teach them where well and let them be Is it just a regime thing that she has to come out with like the most <laughs> unbelievable looking dresses? <laughs> You know, is that just the thing? I think it might be. Yeah, yeah, I on. think it's just a diva thing. Like, it's like the queen. You must bow down. Every time she performs, it's like a sick dress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. And it's also the divine vocal <laughs> texture. It's yeah. like, ah. It's life. I must give you everything I owe. So clean, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it's like, yes. Make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. Also, we'll pull that back. It says apologies. It says mm-hmm. Bay Area as sub nothing to. I want, why does that say that? Why is it Bay Area? Mm, no idea. No, no idea. So like maybe a special edition or something. Definitely, this is the definitely. But can I just say that there's also props to the stylist. <laughs> it Pull it back. Oh look. So she was the champion. So she was actually the winner. The champion, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what the the comment said. Oh, she yeah. won I, I Star that. Search. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it was. Nice. Oh, look at that picture! Just a few minutes. So she worst. won a bunch of different stuff. 1986, 1989. Wow. Was she perhaps like one of the first like? Child wonder, performers from the Philippines that kind of make noise worldwide. I wonder what panique means because it's in comillas. If I succeed, love my song. How do you know? How do you know that song? I don't know, but I think we've played it in the um, in the home. Maybe my father. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Well, listen to the sentence. Oh, and he's also... And it's, oh. and it's also not on TV. It's like an actual concert. No, it's not a concert. This ah, oh, maybe that's what the Bay Area well, means. Pull, pull it back. Look, you see just there. Yeah. Of you see, uh, that's yeah. like a proper crowd. That's true. That's the true. Side. That's like an actual setup. That's yeah. Like a so, so maybe they genuine. Oh, that's sick idea. Oh. Good from ASAP. That is big. Yeah. Well. But it's ABS. Yeah. But that's like a good idea. Imagine that's awesomeness. And it's especially now as well where the pandemic has hit so hard, right? If maybe all of that goes away soon 
I think it's probably, I mean, I don't know, in the UK, it basically no longer exists. Yeah, I don't know um, what it's like. Uh, maybe in London, it's just... China the, is up, up in their yeah, houses. And South yeah. Korea is still struggling with it in terms of, like, they still have the regulations. But I don't know. I don't know how it is in the Philippines, let us know. But maybe when it all goes away, because it will, obviously, at some point, I fucking pray, um, then they can bring, like, Asap Nadinto live. You know? <laughs> Asap Nadinto, like, your house. Yeah, and you have, like, <laughs> the, the new gen divas or something live there, and you have all the, you know, the people. And you can buy tickets and watch it, and that's it. Yeah, and you can buy tickets worldwide. You can. It doesn't matter where you're from. You can buy them, and you have to go. You know, you have you have to make your own arrangements, of course. <laughs> But you can go like I, that's a good holiday. Uh, you're you're just pulling out the jazz island idea. <laughs> no, no, because that that was basically the only the last two events. That's when they had fans. But uh-huh. Yas Island was a private island made for the UFC, just for the fighters. Hmm. Um, I don't want I don't want an Asap Natinto Island. I mean, not that I would say no to, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Just put the concerts up. Is that something normal they do, perhaps? Maybe that's that's what this is. Put about. the last little bit. Yeah. But there's so much rich, nice tonality coming up back and forth between the two of them. This yeah. is fabulous. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You put the you know small version of Josephine, like the baby girl version, and now you see her, and the mannerisms are somewhat still the same. <laughs> well, sometimes so, there are some natural things that you cannot just don't go away. They just don't. They they actually grow. They're part of you to, yeah. uh, to a certain extent, right? Climax. Yeah. <laughs> Like, so that's a piece and a half, but that's so difficult. The thing is, like, we just saw Sarah, uh, Sarah, uh, Heronimo, Sarah Heronimo. Uh, do a cover of this when she was like 17, right? And in my head, I just remembered the, her version of it like, oh, you gotta be so still, you gotta be so. Because the song is demanding, not because it's high and it's like crazy. Uh, crazy and like the riffs and the vo- the vocals obviously they have taken it to another new level here because why not yep. um but it, it's it's cool to see both different approaches to to this song yeah. it, actually three versions you're essentially seeing three versions in my mind they're all playing at the same time it's actually quite insane they're gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy it's bro. also so intriguing right like uh, let us know perhaps in the comments um why you know perhaps she's been performing uh all this time maybe what she's up to and stuff like that um i think this is probably a good time as well to announce that this week's podcast like not not feature friday plus but feature friday we'll be doing it on sp19 so as i'm sure some of Yay! you guys may be fans um watching from the philippines uh that's a good time to tune into the podcast uh, and apart from that, I, I think that's pretty much it. But it, it is, I'd, I'd love to know that. Like, what, why has she come back? Yeah, or maybe did this... she ever leave? Maybe she never left. Maybe what she's up to now. I, want, I wonder why this particular event. Because yeah. it, it seems to be like like a reminisce of like, a, like an ode to the children that's type right. of thing. So I don't know. The child performance. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. That's KC. KC, look, and Maury. Maury said. What? Wow, I don't, that's, yeah. that's always nice when I don't recognize some faces. Yeah, um, look, look, look. On the far left, on the far right, maybe left for you guys. Is it left for you guys? It's left for you guys, I think. It is. Yeah, left. <laughs> I don't know who that fella is and the little girl. And I, Go on, press play. Mm-hmm. Oh, TNT. Uh, the TNT lads. Ah, I see. I see. It's like generations. Yes, keep playing, keep playing. Why take away a climax? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
think they just keep going forever. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what it was. It continues. <laughs> I think it's yeah, it's probably what it was, like a generational thing, because you sort you sort of have Regine, you okay, have Okay, let's see what it says here. Josephine. An international star. Um you the Whitney Houston's greatest love of all the Go down maybe see what people say in the comments. Grave! Yes, yes, yes. The yes. two divas of their own generation. Miss mm -hmm. Panique, Lion Queen Diva, and Miss Regine, Asia Songbird. I see. And Gagalin. <laughs> that's brilliant okay well let us know what you guys thought about it as I always say it seems Filipino television just likes to put all their singers as if they were the Avengers ah, uh, and sort of every now and together. then yeah unite them summon summon the forces yep uh, yeah, and collect all the fabulous. infinity stones uh, anyways guys let us know what you thought about it and apart from that goodbye <laughs>